How will the new administration's stance under Joe Biden change in relation to China and really what repercussions, how will that affect manufacturing? Well, you put that in the future tense, but that's also present tense because you're already seeing more and more things, Fletcher, even this week, the second week, uh, well, Biden just has been in office one week and he's signing, he just yesterday, I, I think, or Monday signed a Buy American uh, executive order, which doesn't really mean a lot. It's more PR. But Biden, the main thing that people need to know about the new administration, first and foremost, is the tariffs are going nowhere. Uh, the 301 tariffs that President Trump levied against the Chinese on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods were criticized by a lot of Democrats and even some Republicans uh, while they were, when they were levied. And Biden criticized those tariffs during the campaign as well and said, oh, farmers, you know, people in Kansas and Iowa or farmers are getting killed with their corn and wheat and soybean exports. But anyone who was following the news during the campaign knew because Biden's, uh, Biden's campaign team was hinting to reporters hey, he's not taking off the tariffs if he gets in. He's just trying to, he's just trying to criticize President Trump as much as he can. That's politics. And one thing that Biden has basically, he hasn't come out and said it, but he said it with his actions, is he essentially commends Donald Trump for getting tough on the Chinese. And it, 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 I know people who don't like President Trump at all and can't stand him. And they said, well, at least he brought, you know, it to the world's attention that people that we need to get tough on China and China's trading policies. So the first thing, and this is as divided as the United States is right now politically, if there's, uh, there are very few things in which Americans are united on. And I think one of the things that they're generally united on is about getting tough on China. Now there are different approaches and different philosophies on how to do so, but the tariffs are going nowhere. Uh, and he, Biden has already announced it, in the, at least in the short and medium term, he is not taking off these 301 tariffs. He may start to take off some later in the year to just kind of appease certain groups. And again, that's just politics. But what Biden has also said that he wants to do is take a more multilateral approach as opposed to President Trump in dealing with the Chinese because Trump obviously had a more unilateral philosophy. You know, you heard America first. Biden is a, is a traditional institutionalist. He served on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He was the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee in the 90s. And he very much believes in international institutions such as NATO, such as the WTO. Um, and so he wants to bring in our allies, the United, the United Kingdom, France, Japan, or especially our Asian allies, South Korea, Australia, and, and try and, and come up with an overall multilateral approach on how to trade more and counterbalance the Chinese. That was the goal behind the Trans-Pacific Partnership that President Obama negotiated. President Trump, with bipartisan support actually from both parties, um, withdrew from the Trans-Pacific Partnership on the second day of his administration on the 21st of January in 2017. Uh, Biden has hinted about getting back into the TPP, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. There's maybe years down the road because there's simply too much protectionism in the United States right now. And plus, most of the focus is going to be right now on COVID. And that, that's another thing that people need to realize for the short term, for the next year, the Biden administration is going to be focused on COVID. And this is going to be business as usual in regards to essentially Trump tariff policy against the Chinese. And USMCA is going to stay. Biden has said he supports USMCA. He does think it's better than NAFTA. I know we'll get into that later. So if anything in the in the medium to long term, there may be an even more aggressive approach to China in regards to subsidizing American industries, keeping on tariffs, uh, trying to form trading packs and alliances with countries like Japan, and, and which we obviously already have free trade with Japan and South Korea, um, but just trying to forge agreements and strengthening our partnerships with other countries and hopefully Mexico, which you know has already been fortified through USMCA. 
So you know, to answer your question in a nutshell, not much is going to change with the Biden administration right now. If anything, the pressure on China could even get worse.